Hey everybody, Ramblin' Pam here. Today we're going to be visiting Seligman, Arizona, known as the birthplace of historic Route 66. But what does that have to do with the movie Cars? In 1886, it was just a small railroad stop. Trains still run through here today. Later, Seligman became a popular Route 66 town. But in 1978, Interstate 40 came along, bypassing the town. As you can see on this map, cars drove right by on the interstate, just a mile south of town without even stopping. It was a big blow to their economy, causing a lot of businesses to close. Longtime resident and barber Angel Delgadillo led the move to convince the state to dedicate Route 66 as a historic highway. For several years, I thought, how can we get the economy back? My simple, simple thought was, all we have to do is ask our state government to make Route 66 historic from Seligman to Kingman. So I began to talk to my customers, to anybody that would listen. People said, Angel, that's almost impossible. I'm with you, but I don't think it'll work. I finally told my wife, Vilma, sweetheart, let's go to Kingman, Arizona and see what the people of the Grand Canyon governments think about it. We'll stop at Beach Springs, we'll start at Truxton and Kingman and see what they say. But you know what, lo and behold, every one of that I talked to endorsed my idea. I finally convinced the Board of Third Chief of Commerce that my idea would work. Bingo, we formed the Historic Route 66 Association of Arizona. And immediately we had the back of the people. Our brother in Arizona finally made Route 66 a story from Seligman to Kingman, November of 1987. Angel's story of Seligman getting bypassed by the interstate was one of the main inspirations for Pixar's animated feature, Cars. Today, Seligman has put itself back on the map as a can't-miss historic roadside attraction. As we walked around town, there's a lot of photo opportunities with the Cars props from the movie and other vehicles like the famous Seligman police car. We spent the night at the Aztec Motel. It's a completely renovated 1960s single level style motel. I highly recommend staying here. The owner thought of everything to make your stay comfortable, including details like USB charging ports on the headboard and cookies to go with the coffee in your room. There's also a gift shop in the office with local unique merchandise. The owner suggested a few places in town to eat. We had dinner at Westside Lilo's Cafe. We received a discount for mentioning the Aztec Motel. I had the homemade pozzoli soup and it was excellent. After dinner, we split an ice cream sundae at Delgadillo's Snowcap. But beware, the owners have played a joke on the customers. Their doors have door handles on both sides. After we were played, it was fun to sit back and see others fall for the joke. The next morning at the motel, there was a breakfast snack bag for each guest inside the breakfast room. We packed it to take with us for the road. We just picked up our brown bag breakfast to go. Uh, probably the best brown bag breakfast we've had somewhere. Uh, really nice. Going to make a nice little snack for us. We had a long drive ahead of us, so we went to the Roadkill Cafe for a sit-down breakfast. And again, we received a discount for staying at the Aztec Motel. Bob got the rigor mortis tortoise. And I had the French toast. The food and the atmosphere were great. Dig in. <laughs> Angel Delgadillo has been nicknamed the guardian angel of Route 66. In 2023, he received the President's Award for National Leadership in Historic Preservation. I think it's really awesome to see what ordinary people like Mr. Delgadillo can do. Because of him, the town was able to reinvent itself and will now forever hold the title, the birthplace of Route 66. So when you ask me who's going to carry on, it's happening already. My legacy is about 
If you want something bad enough, don't go begging for it. Don't go wishing for it. Go do what you want. Go make it happen. We will definitely be back here to visit. Take care. Bye.